it's Wednesday. It's the 30th of the month of December, 2015. Thank you for being with us. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. We appreciate your being there. We're almost to the end of the year One of 2015. Day. One more day, and then we'll begin our 2016, which happens to be a leap year. Every four years, or years that you are years that are divisible by four, are leap years, except those years that are divisible by four and end in double zero. Is that the rule? Two, that is the rule. 2000 was not a leap year That's because right. it ends in double zero. Yeah. And it's all to make adjustment for the clocks not being right, you know, something like that. Anyway, we, we uh, the dear old Earth, Mother Earth, surrounds or goes around the sun 364, 365, 364 and a quarter days every year, 364 and a quarter. And in order to make up that three quarters uh -huh. every four years, we have a, an extra day. And that's what it's for. That's why we you have leap year. folks. It's been a while since I've read that, and I think that's right. Yeah, it yeah. sounds right. It sounds right. Yeah, 364 and a quarter days is a, is an, is a year, yeah. exact time. And since we, ha we don't have a quarter day anywhere, I mean, when was the last time we had a six hour day? Never. Really? I guess not. Anyway, hi there. We're here. Hope you're there. If you are, I have no idea why you're there. But anyway, thank we you for being so here. We are so glad you are. We so are glad, glad you, you are. are. And I want to remind you about tomorrow night. Tomorrow What's night? What's tomorrow night? New Year's Eve mm -hmm. at Mount Olive, uh, North Carolina, USA, here on Earth. There's going to be the, the world famous pickle drop will be taking place. Ran into Julie the other night. Julie Beck. Julie Beck. She, you can't say Julie. She no. is Julie Beck. She's Julie, Julie Beck. Beck. Julie Beck. Julie Beck. One name. No space between the first name Julie and the Beck. last name is nope. Julie Beck. Julie Beck. Anyway, uh, she's okay. It didn't hurt. Uh, just knocked <laughs> her down a little bit. But I ran into Julie Beck just the other day. And uh, she's all excited about the pickle drop and excited about next year. It's going to be a big year for Mount Olive next year. It Lots sure is. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. And mm. you know, Mount Olive uh, has really been uh, on the map for a, a lot of great things over the years, but in recent years, the Mount Olive Pickle Drop has been um, viewed on some national networks mm -hmm. for its uniqueness. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Mount Olive College recently was uh, changed its name to the University of Mount Olive. They are expanding their programs there and are adding master's programs. Um, it is absolutely incredible what's going on there. Um, and the history with Mount Olive Pickle in and of itself is incredible. I mean, those pickles are all over the country. Yes, they are. Literally. Literally. So um, they are uh, ever expanding and growing and just great stewards in our community. Lynn Williams. Um, oh, yeah. Who, you know, is the, the, the voice and the face for Mount Olive Pickle. Um, she has had and has her hands in so many aspects of our community, and it's, it's wonderful. And the Mount Olive Pickle Festival um, wins awards across the state every year for the work that they're doing. And Julie Beck has been at the table with the Mount Olive mm -hmm. Pickle Festival mm -hmm. since its inception. Yeah. 15 years ago? Some I might be, I might be misspeaking oh, think, there. Yeah. But, um. It's longer than that, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Back. It goes back. But, it, yeah, it goes way back. Yeah, there, there's quite yeah. the history there. But Big the, history. But the yeah. pickle drop is really neat. And the cool thing is you can go to Mount Olive. Um, late that afternoon, you can do some shopping while you're there. Yeah. You can grab dinner while you're there. Be a part of the festivities. And by 7 o'clock, it's over. Mm -hmm. So you can choose to stay, or mm -hmm. if you've got plans later that evening, you can mosey on down wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a great tradition. That's right. And this is the 17th. I just found it. Wow. 17th annual pickle drop. Uh, the 17th, and it begins in the afternoon, evening in Mount Olive, and then at 7 p.m., the pickle actually drops down the pole, and Happy New Year! And the reason is because it's, uh, midnight's kind of late around here. <laughs> yeah, people have to get up and go to work. But uh, at uh, 7 p.m. is midnight Greenwich time, so mm -hmm. that's when we celebrate, and it's a reasonable hour, and even the kids can enjoy it then. That's right. All right. That's right. Okay, we're getting the high sign. We need to go on to our next interview here on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Sounds good. Hello, I'm Officer Habermas, traffic officer with the Goldsboro Police Department. Reducing impaired driving is one of my top priorities throughout the year and the holiday season. Each year, drunk drivers kill innocent victims and ruin families. We are all at risk of this senseless crime. Goldsboro Police Department intends to put these drunk drivers where they belong, in jail. 
Already this year, 245 drivers have learned that lesson. If you plan on drinking this holiday season, please be responsible and have a designated driver. Please don't drink and drive, it ruins lives. Our guest in the studio is Aaron Fonseca, and Aaron is the promotions coordinator. Uh huh. Hey. Hey. With DGDC. Good job. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I hope you had a good Christmas. I had a wonderful Christmas. Great. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Now, DGDC, you guys have really had a busy year. We've had a big year. Yeah. DGDC, downtown Goldsboro, city of Goldsboro, mm -hmm. all as a whole. Yeah. So um, we're. I'm. I'm glad that the year has come to a close. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. been so busy, yeah. and you know we've tirelessly been working behind the scenes to uh, make sure that the public has a great experience downtown. You know, I continue almost daily to hear people talk about the new downtown look. Isn't that great? It's beautiful, mm -hmm. and I hear people talk constantly about how how nice it looks. How I hope we're able to keep it this way. Yes. <clears throat> and the trees are going to be growing. I can't wait till spring when everything starts budding out. Oh, I know. It'll be beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous. It will. The trees just need a few more years to kind of fill out. Mm -hmm. But we've got the lights on the trees, and right. there's talk of keeping <coughs> them on there for a little while longer because we, like you, have heard so many wonderful comments, yeah. which just makes my heart jump for joy to hear. And I love the fact that regardless of the time of day you go down, whether it's daytime, afternoon, mm -hmm. nighttime, People are using downtown. Exactly. They're sitting in the seats. They're sitting in the median in the, in the middle of the, not in the middle of the street, but in the where they're supposed to be sitting. Exactly. It's there, I constantly see people walking around the fountains yeah. and the sculptures, yes. and um, I don't know if you've been over there, but in the median across from, I guess it's between like Maxway, and then on the other side you've got Carolina Pine Country Store. Yeah. There's a, a large kind of meeting area yes. with chess and checkers tables. I've seen that. Every time I go by there, I either see people eating lunch yeah. or playing chess and checkers. Yes. It's, it's just so neat to see. Isn't that a good feeling? People are really enjoying it. People are enjoying it yes. and using it. Yes. I, like, I feel like our downtown has, well, it's had a major revital, revitalization. But if you can think back, you know, 50 years ago and walk downtown for a day, yeah. I feel like our downtown is what it used to be for those folks. Mm. It was a meeting spot. It was a, a place to grab a bite to eat. Right. It was a place to let your kids play. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're back to that. Back to that. Not only just an eating spot, but look at all the new restaurants that have opened. Oh, yes. Yeah. And new restaurants, the, the new, new businesses room. in general. I know. The terrace room is open. Yes. We had a fun event in uh, November for yeah. Thanksgiving. It was the Butterball. Yes, it was our the Thanksgiving Eve bash, yeah. um, and it was actually a fundraiser for our Main Street Conference, which right. I'll tell you about in a little bit. Okay. Um, but it was it was just a blast. It was so much fun. We had um, lights on the terrace, mm -hmm. and you could look down and see the fountain and the streets lit. Mm -hmm. um, and we just had a grand time. And I tell you, you know, some people wouldn't bring this up, and I don't mean to to throw water on this, but uh -huh. let, I want to get serious for a minute. Mm -hmm. People, some people. The, the negative ninnies. Right. Uh, negative nabobs of, uh, of whatever it was he said. But anyway. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, right. um, say, you know, we didn't need to be spending that much money on our downtown. We needed that money elsewhere. But listen, let me tell you mm -hmm. something. This new downtown will bring people in, has already brought people in. Absolutely. It's bringing new business in. And that means new money coming into town. This is revenue generating. Exactly. And this is going to be, a, this is an enormous boost to the uh, to the downtown area yeah. and to Wayne County and whole, as a whole. Our economy as a whole, uh, yeah. I, but I, the thing is, what they don't understand is mm -hmm. that we didn't spend that much money. Exactly. This was a, this was a grant. Exactly. This was grant money. A, a large portion of it was grant funded. Yeah. There were some matches from the city. Yeah. Um, but I, we really look at it as a way to kind of get the ball rolling, as you're saying. Right. Um, what we've been stressing to everyone, supporters and naysayers alike, right. um, that downtown is the heart of the city wherever you go. That's right. When the heart is healthy, the body is healthy. Exactly. And whenever developers come into any city to decide whether or not to make a large investment, to buy a property, to 
start a new business, what have you, they always start at the downtown first. Mm -hmm. Because if they see that a city is investing in their downtown, then they know the city cares about the city and the county as a whole and the citizens. Um, so they, they in turn want to spend their money exactly downtown. Right. So it's just getting the ball rolling. So if you're a nattering nabob of negativity, <laughs> go away. We don't need you. We've or or too come much see it for yourself. Yep. Yeah. Come see it for yourself. You Take know, a walk you're around. Right. If you, ha you know what, those people who have negative thoughts about this, they haven't seen it. Exactly. Because if they had seen it, they wouldn't feel that way. Yes. You got to come down. Maybe they maybe they've at. changed their minds. I since. hope so. This is a good health for all of Wayne County. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. Now, what else do we have? All right. So we are launching a new website. Boom. I know. We're, wow. I am particularly very excited about this. It's, it's been my baby. Uh -huh. um, being the promotions coordinator, um, it's nice to be able to mold the website. Sure. Um, it's, we, we had a, a great site, but it was a little dated. Um, the city launched a new website. I don't know if you know yes. that. I yes. know the county is working on theirs. We're working on so ours. So it's time. Yeah. Something that you just need to continually reinvent. So um, what we've done with our site, what the city's done with their site, is we've made it very user-friendly, mm -hmm. very intuitive. Um, I want you to go on there looking for one thing and find 10 other things right. that you didn't know you were looking for. Right. Um, I never want to hear anyone say that there's nothing to do downtown. So we're working on changing that with our website, the city's website, the Paramount. Mm. If you go on any of those, you'll see a slew of events coming up. Um, you mentioned the Paramount, and I've just got to yes. throw this in. Anyone who says that there's nothing to do in Wayne County has mm -hmm. never been to the Paramount. There's something going on all the all time. The time. The Paramount, all you the time. You know what? I was, I was talking to Vincent recently. Yes. They are booked every single day through June. Really? Yes. It's not even January of 2016 yet, and really? they're booked every single day. Through June. Through every June. Every day. Through, and ours, yes. ours is April 1st, by the way. Okay. I've got it. I've you got booked mine. it, right? I you're, booked you're, it for April okay, 1st. Good. Oh, yeah. If you didn't, you might not be, you, Wouldn't be, you might not be on there yeah, well, now. Well, I had to book it early because yes. people, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got it for so April 1st. So there's always something going on. There's always something going on. Um, one thing that I would love to have on our website, too, and this What's is kind that? of what I'm working on, um, I want to create some sample itineraries. So if someone is a foodie, you know, or if someone's a history buff, Ooh. I would like to have an itinerary for them to come downtown and find things that appeal to their likes. That is a great idea. So I'm working idea. on that. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. I might have borrowed it from another city's website. Well, we don't want to say, you know, no. don't want to talk about that. No. <laughs> There's no such thing as a new idea. I know. You know, we're just Nothing making it our own. Nothing new under the sun, nope. Mom always used to say. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But we're launching that website in January. Okay. So look out for that. And in the meantime, um, something, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is our, um, our shopping and dining guide. So we have these maps um, throughout downtown. We have some at the chamber. We have them at our office, and they'll be on the website too. Um, but we've got on the front restaurants and a little map so you can find your way around. Wow. And then on the back, we yeah. have dining and or on um, uh, shopping and services, excuse me. Wow. So you've got the, okay. the business, their address, and a phone number so you can contact them. Um, if anybody is looking for new businesses, mm -hmm. if you've heard about a great new restaurant that you want to try but you don't know where it is, right. you will be able to find that on our website. You can now as well, but you can come and pick this up and go exploring for the day. This is wonderful, and I guess so, by yeah. now it's common knowledge that Ed's is, is expanding, right? Ed's is expanding. Wow. They have expanded. Yes. Um, they opened over Christmas Into their the, their second space. Used to be the drugstore on the corner. Oh, yes. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. It is beautiful. That's so amazing. So one thing in we were talking about streetscape and the construction and new businesses um, since. The Streetscape project mm -hmm. was announced and the Tiger 5 grant was announced in right. 2013. Right. There have been 26 new businesses open in downtown. 26 new businesses. New businesses. 26. Two are still coming in January. We've got Chiropractic Advantage and we've got one more coming in January. Um, 23 new property acquisitions. And by the end of 2016, there will be 11 new residential properties downtown. So not only can you play, dine, shop downtown, you can live downtown. You can now as well. You can But there now. will be more opportunities for will that. Will this be the same type of, uh, uh, of living? Will it be the upstairs apartment? Mm -hmm. Oh, so really? In, in downtown, um, the only residential dwellings that we can have are upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, that, was, that is part of the design guidelines and the historic 
district yeah. um, committee guidelines. But see, that's so, that's so they're special. All upstairs. That's mm -hmm. so special. If you know Bill Edgerton, yes. he's got a fantastic uh, set of apartments over mm -hmm. here upstairs, mm -hmm. over over his building. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're, they're, see, they're always so, full. They're yeah. always occupied. Yeah. The lofts on James are the same way. The lofts on James, exactly. Um, but speaking of Ed's, their new space next door that's part of the Goldsboro right. Drugstore, right. which is one of the oldest buildings downtown. It is, yeah. And it, for many years was the oldest business mm -hmm. downtown. They had the first uh, phone number. They yeah. were number one. Number one. That was a phone number. I'd like to have a phone number great? number one. Number one. Just What's one. your number? One. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> um, but they have two great apartments upstairs. Yeah. They're going to be available um, pretty soon, the beginning wow. of the year. And they are just phenomenal. Daniels and Daniels has done a great job oh, of yes. renovating the space, oh, yeah. um, staying true to the historic nature of the space, the facade. Mm -hmm. They've had. Um, they match the original millwork around the outside really? of the facade. So when you go by there, just stop and look up for a little while and appreciate wow. what they've done. Wow. Um, but it's also, it's it's slightly modern in a way too. So it kind of like Ed's is. Yeah. Ed's ties into the historic nature of downtown, but it's got a modern flair. So, but yeah, the, the corner apartment in um, that building looks out directly onto the fountain. Wow. It's gorgeous. I want that. Me too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> yeah. I want that apartment. So, yeah, there, there's no excuse to, to not come downtown. And mm. uh, we have all these new businesses opening, restaurants, shopping, services, you name it. We've this, got it downtown. And where, where is this available, this page right um, here? You can come by and see us okay. at our office and pick one up. You can also download it on our website. Um, and then we've got copies of this throughout the city as well, throughout downtown. Uh, I like the idea that all the services and, and businesses on the back, mm -hmm. it's all categorized. You have, exactly. You have thrift and resale stores, you have banks, health and beauty, services, automotive, apparel. A little bit of everything. Apparently. Arts and entertainment. Yeah, arts antiques. and entertainment, yeah. Yep, there's something for everybody downtown. There is, and you know, we, we have some really, really nice antique stores downtown. We do. I love thrift shops, mm -hmm. and I love antique stores as well. Me and too. There's a lot of nice new thrift shops here as well. Mm -hmm. well some, yep, some, and uh, it, not just on Center Street, but yeah, all, all, all around over. downtown. Yeah, yep. love it. So this, this little map can help you find your way around. Okay. I don't yep. mean to take all your time. You're I get fine. excited about I this. I do too. All right, what else we got? I'm very excited. Well, um, something oh. I wanted to revisit with you guys that. is the postcards of Old Wayne County. Mm -hmm. So I love this book. This is um, when I first came back to Goldsboro. I was actually the first pair or the first intern at the Paramount, um, Were and you really? I was. And for <laughs> those of you who know Sherry Archibald, mm -hmm. she has a passion for this city, all things Goldsboro, history, you name yes, it. Yes, she does. She gave me a copy of this so that I could, you know, get back to my roots. All right. Um, but explore some of the history, not just of downtown, but of Goldsboro. And it's one of my favorite gifts. So the, um, the History Museum actually brought several copies by to our office mm -hmm. so that we can help sell them. Oh, wonderful. They have them available at the History Museum as well. Um, but it's just, it's a collection of vintage postcards throughout Wayne County. You know, the, so. the, there are some people who are postcard collectors, mm -hmm. and it's a very serious business. Some it postcards is. run into the thousands of dollars. Wow. And it's a very, I'm serious, very wow. serious business. Yeah. But the pictures, and I have a book, I have this book as well at home. Uh -huh. And I love this book. And I, I'm a history buff anyway. I love yeah. everything old history. And, of course, Chris Lawson can tell you all about it over at the museum. And, uh, and but uh, there's a lo this for for history and in fact there's the old museum right there when it was yeah. the USO, the USO Take a look building. At that. But uh, this is absolutely fan a it's a fantastic book. It See is. See it right there. That's that's the the currently it's a museum, but this is when it was an, a USO uh, facility here. So it's a neat. Um, it's kind of a history. Of there's a postcard. A, a history through postcards right. of Wayne County. I love it. Um, and all these wonderfully historic. Buildings. I mean, look mm -hmm. at that. That's just beautiful. beautiful it's not here that's anymore. That's the Oddfellows building, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Not here any longer. No. So you can you can explore our history. So a neat. I know Christmas has come and gone, but a neat gift idea, and they're only ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And it's a great gift. It yeah, is. That Oddfellows building was out at the Herman Park. What's now Herman Park? Mm -hmm. I believe it was an. Orphanage. And there's a placard that you can read as you go by. 
Mm -hmm. I remember seeing that growing up, but yeah. now you can see the picture that goes with it. Well, so. This is a great book, a great gift, great? and it's only $10. Only $10. And the History Museum has revamped their gift shop, too. I don't know if I, you've been in I there. I have. I, I bought some stuff there They have all kinds already. of neat stuff. Yeah. From all over Wayne County, too, they have um, local artisans gift items, yeah. if you yeah. will, like soaps and local honey, uh, postcards, <laughs> a little bit of everything. But it's um, it's... It's revamped, yeah. so it's right. it, not that it was stale. Oh no, at all. no, it was no. no. <laughs> they just moved something but around. And they moved things around um, and added some tangible items, yeah. so you can get books, but you can also get some great gifts too. Wow, <laughs> gee whiz, Aaron, you know we're about out of time now, so uh, uh, we could go on talking more about from we now could. on. <laughs> but let's give everybody your phone number and tell sure. them where you are. Yep. Where are you? We're on John Street. John Street. Yep, we're um, on John Street, 219 North John, uh, right next to the B&G Grill. Everyone yes. knows where the B&G Grill is, so right. we're next to it. Yes. Um, we, we can take advantage of that. 219 North John Street. 219 North John, um, and we just want people to come downtown. Explore what you have in your backyard. Don't think that you've got to drive an hour out of your way to go find something to do. That's we right. have it all right here. Right here in Goldsboro and Wayne County. 735-4959. Um, also, I want to encourage folks to get on our social media pages. Our Facebook is up to close to 5,000 followers. Get yes, out of 5, here. 5,000 followers. Whoa. So you, those folks know what you might be missing <laughs> if you're not following us That's on right. Facebook. Right. Um, everything is posted first on our Downtown Goldsboro Facebook page. You can find it, Downtown Goldsboro. So it's Facebook.com slash Downtown, downtown Goldsboro. Downtown Goldsboro, yep. Right. And then check out our new website, which will be launching in January. Okay. And you can find that at DowntownGoldsboro.com. And there you have it. There you go. <laughs> Our guest has been Aaron Fonseca, Promotions Coordinator for the Downtown Goldsboro Development Corporation, a.k.a. DGDC. That's right. <laughs> .org. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Aaron. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Adam, Nora, David, Robert, Edward, William, Sam, first, phonetically, it's Adam Henry, John, Adam, Henry, Mary, Adam Henry, Little, Edward, I'm Sergeant David. Jason Hill with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office DWI Task Force. If you drink and drive this holiday season, you will go to jail. Protect your life, protect your family, protect the lives of the other motoring public. Adam, Mary, Adam, Nora, Nora. Sales Universe 11, 6 of 80. back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thanks for being with us and thanks for sticking with us. That's right. Yeah. One more day of the year, right? <laughs> That's right. I want to mention some blood drives that are coming up here. In fact, why don't you mention the blood sure, drives absolutely. that are coming up here, okay? Sure, uh, absolutely. Little disclaimer, you can find all these on the Red Cross's website. Mm -hmm. um, you simply put in your uh, zip code and you can pull up some more. But we've got one today um, at the Goldsboro Worship Center. Um, oh, yeah. Coming up in January, so we're moving into 2016. The county and the city have a little competition going on. And Ooh. Wayne has mentioned this earlier. Ooh. It will be on January 7th at the Red Cross building. Um, That's from, at 600 North George Street. By there the way. you go. Yeah. Um, it will be that morning. So, calling all city and county employees, as well as residents and concerned citizens who want to give the gift of life. That is January 7th. That doesn't work out for you. How about January 12th at the Red Cross building and January 22nd downtown at St. Paul United Methodist Church? That's the day that I'm going. I knew it was somewhere okay. in, in time in January, okay. but on January 26th, I, 22nd. I will be there. Um, they'll be at St. Paul until 6 o'clock p.m. And then on January 28th, they're going to be at Wayne Christian School on Pate Town Road. So the 28th, I'm just going to help fill your calendars up. The 28th, you can go give blood at 1.30 mm -hmm. to 6 o'clock anytime. Mm -hmm. And when you're done that evening, we want to see you at the annual banquet for the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. We will be talking about the, the things that were accomplished in 2015 and what's on the horizon in 2016 for our business community. Excellent. A little shameless plug. And there you go. There you go. Today, National Bicarbonate of Soda Day. A little arm and hammer for you there, okay? Okay. All right. Coming up also on January 11th, Ethel Barnes, our friend Ethel, will be, uh, who's a public affairs specialist for the Social Security Administration, will hold her office hours at the Senior Center from 11 until 12, 
and she will be available to meet with seniors, address any questions or concerns related to Social Security. Okay. Appointments are not necessary, you just go. Okay. Uh, Ms. Barnes will see seniors on a first come, first served basis. Wonderful. All right. Wonderful. Well, let's see what else we can find here. The deaf and hard of hearing support groups. If, uh, if you or a loved one are hearing impaired, the Peggy M. Seeger Senior Center on East Ash Street hosts the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Support Group meeting every other month on the third Saturday. Every other month. The next meeting will be conducted by the North Carolina Division of Services for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. That will be Saturday, January 16th at 1130 in the morning. So if it's every other month, that means the next meeting will be in March. Right. Okay. Makes Ooh. sense. Okay. Any questions about that? Will you call the Senior Center at 705-1785, 919-705-1785. There you go. Great resources. Yes, indeed. Great resources. And there are tons of stuff. Blood yeah. pressure checks next week at the Senior Center. Free blood pressure checks to seniors, for seniors, that is, on the first Tuesday of every single month. The first Tuesday of every month, they will check blood pressure for seniors and RN, Registered nurse <laughs> uh, from 3HC will be available on, two, on January 5th from noon to 1 o'clock. That's noon to 1 p.m. Uh, to check your blood pressure. Uh, this is free of charge, of course. For more information, call Paula, 919-705-1785. Okay? Great. All right. Great. Anything at all? Anything at all. Well, tomorrow uh, night, we hope, well, tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, we hope to see you in uh, Mount Olive for the annual pickle drop. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, the pickle will, will make its appearance and drop as we welcome in a new year. You will be, you can, it will conclude at 7 o'clock p.m. You've got plenty of time to either head home, um, ha enjoy dinner out, or if you've got yeah. some other festivities to do that night, you've got plenty of time to do that. That's so exactly right. It'll be a great, great evening in, in Wayne County. So we're all going to go get ready for that right now. That's right. That's okay? right. All right. So we're going to, in fact, so we're going to leave right now, and we will be back tomorrow morning at okay. this time. The first uh, show airs at 7, then it repeats at noon, then it repeats again at 5.30 p.m. So I hope you're able to join us. And until then, so until then, my name is Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.